morning children welcome to today's math class i think everyone is ready to write the exam isn't it then have you studied all the subject yes very good anyway your exam starts on 17 monday this coming monday okay so everyone should prepare well for the exam and then get full marks in all the subject done yes now we completed one chapter that is fun with numbers this chapter is about three digit numbers but we have learned four digit numbers also so in this chapter we have learned four digit numbers and they are number names place values expanded form short form successor predecessor then forming the biggest number and smallest number then different patterns also do you have any doubt or any confusion in completing the patterns okay i will clear your doubts actually pattern shows different countings pattern shows different countings okay that is tens tens counting tens we know the tenses the, then hundreds hundreds counting we know the hundreds also like 500 thousands twos twos counting twos then fives twenty fives fifties okay these are some type of countings okay so to complete a pattern or to continue the numbers first observe the pattern observe the given numbers very carefully then read it loudly just read the given numbers loud and check which pattern which countings has followed the which countings has used the okay then continue the pattern then it is very easy to complete the pattern first observe and identify which type of countings has used the okay no need to add the numbers in your fingers it is more difficult okay so no need to add just say reads reads the numbers and says it loudly then automatically you will get the remaining numbers okay here we have some countings tens countings okay as we all know the tens countings the tens are 10 20 30 40 50 then 60 70 80 90 then next 100 next tens 100 then again it restart with the tens 110 120 130 140 and so on if it is 900 if it start with 900 no problem just say the number along with 900 just say the tens along with 900 that is 910 920 930 940 and so on okay if it is 1200 10 1210 next 1220 only change the tens countings do not change the remaining numbers just change the countings so first identify or check which countings has used the. okay then you can continue the pattern that is tens about tens then hundreds counting is very easy hundreds as we all know hundreds 100 200 300 so just change the hundred place number only okay 
1,300. So next is 1,400. Okay. Do not change the 1,000 place number. Only change 100 only. If it is in 100's counting. Okay. Then 5's counting. It is very easy. 5's counting. 5, 5, 5. Already you learned the 5's table. 5's multiplication table. Okay. What are the numbers? 5's 5. Next 10. Next 15. Next 5. 5, 10, 15. Then 20. Next 5. 5 or 0. That's a uh, counting style. 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0. Okay. So 5, 10. Again 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and so on. Is it easy? Yes, that's 5's counting. Okay, just say the countings, different sound countings again and again. Okay, so 10's counting, 100's, 5's. Now what about 2's counting? 2 is very easy. Then 2's counting. It is very easy. 2's numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Again it restarts. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Again, come to the first number. 22, 24, 26, 28, 13. So that's all. Okay. So the two is counting like that. So first, uh, learn some countings. Okay. That will help you to continue the fact. Okay, that's all about 2's counting. Then, the same way, 50's. 50. 50 plus 50, 100. So, in 100, there are two 50's. So, again, it comes 50. 50. 50 is counting first to 50, 100. Again, 150. Next, 200. Okay, numbers are going on. Okay, so next, next numbers. You can say the next, next number. So, 200 after 250, 300. Then 350, 400. And so on. Okay. So, you can, I will give you more pattern. Try to do yourself. Okay. Then, anyway, we have to start the next chapter. Okay, chapter 3, that is give and take. Give and take. Actually, this give and take in, in maths, these terms means give and take. Plus and minus. So, when we give, it is plus. When we take, it is minus. So, give and take actually means here addition and subtraction. You all know how to add or subtract numbers. In this chapter, we have to learn. We have to add or subtract 3 digit numbers and 4 digit numbers. Okay, before starting the addition and subtraction, you have to do one thing. That is, for adding numbers, in addition or subtraction, do not use your fingers. Do not use your fingers for addition and subtraction. Then, how will you add without using your fingers? How will you add the numbers? Or how will you subtract? So, you have to learn, you have to study the addition tables. Addition tables, not multiplication tables. You should learn the addition tables 1 to 10. First 10 tables. It will help you to add very quickly. Okay. So, you have to 
learn the addition terms. It is very compulsory. Okay. You should learn that addition terms. I will ask addition terms to you. Okay. So, I will help you to study the addition terms. Okay. It is very easy. Just go through the addition table. Already you know some numbers. Okay. Uh, the others you can learn. Now, okay, first addition table. Table of 1. Addition table of 1. It is very easy that already we know. When we add 1, 1 to each number, we will get the, we will get the next number. If we add 1 to any number, we will get the next number, the coming number. Okay, that is addition table 1. 1 plus 1. Next number, 2. 2 plus 1. 2. 2 is our number. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 9 plus 1, 10. That's all. Okay, that is table 1. So, you all know it. Now, table 2. Addition table 2. That is, when we add 2. The number 2 to any number. We will get the number 1 after next. We will get the number 1 after next. Not the next number. After number. 1 after the next number. That is 2 step. That is 1 plus 2. Very simple 2 plus 1. Equal to 3. 1 plus 2. Which means 2 plus 1. We add 1 there. So 2 plus 1, 3. Then what about 2 plus 2? The number 1 after next. That is the third number. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 2. Not 3. 2, 3, 4. Third number. So 4. Okay. 2 plus 2 is 4. Then 4 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 equal to 4 plus 2. We know the next number 4 after 5 plus here we are adding 2. So, 4 plus 2 equal to 6. Then 9 plus 2. The same way. 9 plus 2. Think. Use your brain. Okay. Do, do not use your fingers. Use your brain. Okay. So, 9 plus 2. 2 uh, counting. 9, 10, 11. So, 11. Like we can add any number. 26 plus 2. 26 plus 2? Yes, 27, 28. Okay, that way. 99 plus 2. Yes, 101. One after the next number. The number is not the next number. One after next. That is 2. Okay. So, steady, first one stable, two stable, then three stable. Three stable the same way. Okay. One plus three, three. One plus three, three. Okay. Then two plus three. So, before two plus three, we know that two plus two equal to four. One plus three, we know that it is four. And two plus three. 2 plus 2 we know that. 2, 2, 4. So, one more number is here. 2 plus 3. So, what is the answer here? 5. 2 plus 3, 5. Reverse also. 3 plus 2, 5. 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2. For the same. So, you can study like that. Okay. In the reverse order also. 2 plus 3 equal to 5. Or 3 plus 2 equal to 5. Okay. Then what about 3 plus 3? That we all know. 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3. 6. Okay. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 3, 6. Then 4 plus 4 is 8. 5 plus 5, 10. Same, same numbers. You know that. Okay. 6 plus 6, 12. 7 plus 7, 14. 8 plus 8, 16. 9 plus 9, 18. Then 10 plus 10, 20. Study first that. Same, same numbers addition. Okay. Then, next, 4 plus 3. One more number. 3 plus 3, we know. 3 plus 3. If both are 3, answer is 6. Then here, one number is more. So, 4 plus 3, 
seven. Five plus three, two number is more. Here five plus three, three plus three, six. Then two more number. So five plus three is eight. Okay. So studying the table, then you can add. Okay. Now you are in third standard. Do not use your fingers for adding 9 plus 3. 9 here, 3 here. Then how can you add? That is very bad. Okay. So study the addition table. Then add the numbers. Okay. Then that's all about today's class. In this Today you have to learn these three tables. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, I will give you the uh, tables. Okay, we will do the addition and subtraction in the next class. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day.